on the 7th of September 2014, Felix Day's Langard Fort welcomed a visit from the UK's Fortress Study Group. As well as making a day-long visit, the group also brought the first in a new series of special awards to present to the Langard Fort Trust. Um, I'm delighted as chairman of the Fortress Study Group uh, this morning to present uh, the first of our awards. Um, the Fortress Study Group instituted this year an award uh, which will be presented annually to a fortification where we believe uh, it has shown the probably the best uh, type of restoration and in particular <coughs> reuse to the number of volunteers who have made it so successful. Uh, it merits an award from uh, the Fortress Study Group which we hope you will be able uh, to display. And so may I present you uh, with the award. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's the first award. I mean, it's a fantastic privilege. Thank you very much. Um, it means an awful lot that the Fortress Study Group, I, I don't think about how much you all know about fortresses, and to receive it, therefore, from you as an award is, is very special indeed. Um, our group's been going for at least 16 years. It is made up virtually entirely of, of volunteers, apart from our one manager, uh, Shirley, who lots of you will know. Uh, and if Chris Slemmings is here, Apart from Dave Woods, who, you know, Chris Slemmings, Councillor Slemmings is one of the original members who set it up all that time ago. So a big thank you to Chris and obviously to Dave Wood, who's still active as well. Um, it's been a fantastic contribution. It's got us to where we are now, over 20,000 visitors a year. But to receive this from you is very special indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Four years ago, we held an international conference called Fortifications at Risk mm -hmm. and for two days in London we got an international group of people together to talk about what they were doing in their own countries about preservation and reuse of fortifications. Uh, we held a second conference two years ago and coming out of that we reckon that there is a lot of interest in the subject. It's an increasing interest now, it's an increasing international interest. Um, so we thought well, what could we do in this country, uh, initially at least? Uh, and out of that came the idea of a Fortress Study Award. The award was something uh, slightly different to try and raise the publicity levels a bit for both sides, both for the recipients like yourselves, uh, to say thank you for the work you're doing and to try and bring this to a wider public uh, so that they realise the work you've been doing and also to publicise our own group uh, to generally increase the awareness of what we are on about. They're internationally recognised. They've certainly got a huge presence in the UK. Mm -hmm. They know much more about fortresses than I would ever hope to know. So to receive this award from a group of such experts really is quite an achievement for us. When we look at how the fort is doing, we seem to be having an amazing time really, we're busy all the time. Yes, we go from strength to strength and we're up to over 20,000 visitors this year and, and hoping to increase by another 5 to 7 percent. Um, it's been a, a great story for 16 years since the place was reclaimed from the ruins almost as it were, where people used to come and play. Mm -hmm. We've now got a thriving visitor attraction, we've got a resource for education, we have many school visits, mm -hmm. we've got a, a resource for archiving local material, so it is a very, very good story.